Hello and thank you for joining us here on Cheche, the show where opinion counts. Live on Citizen TV, I'm Udwa Kamimo. Now every democracy needs a strong opposition and our guest today represents that voice. He is Francis Nyenze, the Member of Parliament for Kitui West and leader of the minority in Parliament, albeit in the interim. He is also one of the MPs who was reported to have offered to quit his seat in favor of former Vice President Kalonzo Musioke, which tells us all that he belongs to the WIPA Democratic Party. So we'll explore his role in politics with insights from the Cheche panel of Mutegin Jiao from Royal Media Services, as well as political analyst David Makali. Good morning and uh, welcome back to Cheche. Um, it's a pleasure to have you with us. Um, what do you see as your role as leader of uh, the minority? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, my role is uh, to lead the opposition in, inside parliament, uh, to keep the government in check, and to make sure that uh, the government delivers on the promises according to its manifesto to Kenyans. But you've been acting as leader of the minority for a couple of months, and already there's talk of having you removed from that position. I've been acting, and uh, I've not heard of uh, any talk of my removal why, or why replacement. Are you why are not fully? Uh, you know, when I got this uh, job, we were in Naifasha, and then uh, we did negotiate the three parties, the three main parties that form a code uh, are in strength of number is the uh, ODM, WIPA, and Ford Kenya. Yes. So Raila Odinga was to be the party leader, called party leader outside parliament. Kalonzo Musioka was to be the uh, called leader inside the parliament as a minority leader. And Moses Wetangula was to be the minority leader in Senate. So now that Kalonzo Musioka never made it to parliament, I was appointed to act. Uh, and I've been acting ever since and uh, doing a good job. Do you, con do you expect you are going to be confirmed? Definitely. Why do you think so? I've been assured by the party <laughs> chips, and uh, <laughs> I lead the members well. Members are happy with okay. me. Okay, so they're laughing um, because obviously there have been intrigues. You have a deputy um, from ODM, Jakayo Midiwo, who um, is reported to have been undermining you. Um, and so you come here and you tell us that you've not heard about anyone um, trying to oppose you, and, and, and it seems that uh, you're out of touch with the reality. Could be and which is part of the complaint? Could be. Uh, I don't know whether Jaco Midiwe is undermining me, because mm. uh, we get along well. We are friends, uh, but he's my deputy. He can only act in my absence. So I don't know, but I don't think he's undermining. Is he also an acting deputy? Uh, let's say those are confirmed positions but mine because i was holding brief for Mushmua you're Kalonzo a placeholder mine was uh, acting theirs is uh, confirmed what, what is likely to happen now that uh, kalonzo it definitely is not coming to the house uh, i will be confirmed as the minority leader. will there be uh, an occasion to do that or you just transit automatically to be confirmed um, by virtue of his declining it's like i've already transited to being the not acting but uh, the real substantive, you substantive. Right. because How? now kalonzo has made it very clear but you that is not you, coming you, you admit you're acting Let's say, yeah, when I when started... You, when, I, when you say you're transiting, how, how do you do it? Mm. Uh, let's say it can be through a caucus to confirm me, right. and it can also be through, you know, my stay there because there is no opposition. Let me ask Sir. this. Uh, mm. is, it, is it rather obvious that you'll be confirmed, considering that, first, uh, in the code family, WIPA has the second highest number of seats? the majority party, actually not just within court, but in parliament generally, is ODM. Is it not likely that the ODM will try to reclaim its position as minority party, uh, the minority party leadership in the House because of the numbers? Uh, they cannot do that because these are negotiated positions. For Raila to be the party leader, <coughs> that is the biggest position that you can give to court. Yeah. And now that one, the other one was for Kalonzo because WIPA is the second largest uh, coalition partner. And that one of Kalonzo, Kalonzo has confided in me that he's not coming back to parliament, and then I should go on. I've also talked to Raila, he said they will confirm me, 
They have a lot of trust in me. I have talked to Moses Wetangula. All of them have said, and mo all the members have said the leadership that I've offered is good, and they will confirm me. I've been very fair. The, but the as the you issue, say, though... The issue about you is that you are not as vocal as others. That when things are being done, you don't seem to be uh, abrasive. You don't seem to be uh, uh, and aggressive also. Oh, that, okay. That's why they, they, they think that you may not be very... Not the right person right for the person. job. Okay, the job. okay. You know, people have different uh, leadership styles. Uh, mine is not that aggressive, uh, abrasive, and, uh, you know, chest thumping. Mine is soft power. And I always uh, win. I always win people. I always get what I want. And that's why I was the one who was identified to act. Okay, let's look at the wins. Yeah. What? Just a minute yeah. before we get to that. If yeah. you say that um, you win people over, yet we're hearing these intrigues about <coughs> you, surely you're out of touch um, with the reality in Parliament and your leadership style, which you probably need to adjust to suit the rough and tumble of the politics of um, Parliament, don't you? I'm not new to Parliament. Mm -hmm. I'm serving a second term. I have reason to but be this is your first a cabinet minister. Mm -hmm. It's the first time to serve in the opposition right. and also... In a leadership a, uh, position in parliament. In leadership, I've served in several mm -hmm. places, in the several positions. But now, uh, the, the most important thing is to achieve the, the objectives that are set forth by your party, which I'm doing. And that's why... Why did they not pick anybody else? Why did they pick? Because you were a placeholder. They were expecting somebody who would quietly bow out um, should uh, the situation demand it, and not somebody who would um, get in there and refuse to leave. Okay, I don't refuse to leave, and I never even campaigned for that position. <laughs> but because people know who Nyenze yeah. is, yeah. and uh, I can, uh, just a small uh, example I can give you: when uh, Jubilee refused to let go. Uh, committee members. We said uh, we have to chair those committees, the PIC, PIC, with uh, to have a majority. And I stuck my ground until you there to give in uh, six slots and also to let us chair the pick and pack. And these are the kind of things we do. Some people may want to be loud and abrasive is their style. Others are calculative but they achieve the objective. But do you remember you yourself saying that you are going to boycott all the committees if you are not given the majority of PAC and PIC? We you said... Didn't, you didn't get the majority? We... You, you still... You, 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 we, we, but, get, we got a good bargain. We you got... You know what we did? We got a good bargain because we got the chairs. Uh, the st but new standing orders do not uh, provide for us to have, provide the chairmanships to have the majority. You wanted it, the majority? We wanted that. But, but you're that not was, aware of the standing orders then? We were aware, but that was negotiations. You try to put your ground, you try to put your demands, and you stick to your guns, and you, the other side, concedes. You, 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 you are the one who conceded? Mm -hmm. No, not really. It, they, they, they gave in six slots. We never gave in, and we gained six slots in the two committees and the chairmanship. So this is a, a good bargain. And it was for that purpose. What, let's look at how far you've come. In the past two, two months, you've been leader of minority. Uh, any challenges you've experienced? Because obviously, there's been a lot of wheeler dealing, push and pull uh, to achieve the six positions you're talking about. But you know, looking in from outside, the public knows that the majority has uh, taken, uh, has had its way, which speaks of uh, you know your inability to extract the best bargain, it's especially in terms of what you demanded, that those committees needed to have majorities of the minority of the opposition, yeah. and the chair needed to be from uh, the sure. minority. You got the chair because, well, I think out of embarrassment, Jubilee realized it, they cannot uh, oversight themselves, so they, they ceded the chairmanship. But they retained the majorities there, and given the trends that we have seen, it's very likely that those numbers will continue to reign and you'll have very little to offer in terms of checking government. Uh, thank you, Makali. I think <coughs> it's also good to realize that uh, Jubilee has a majority in terms of members of parliament. And uh, when you have a majority, it's uh, very difficult to, to beat. But what we do is uh, we plan. We do our things in a strategic way that we know we are the minority 
but we try to identify areas where we have strength. That's where we pull and we always get our way. Now, for us to get the six slots, three in the PIC, three in the PSC, and to get the chairmanship, that was a struggle and is something we planned. We crippled everything. And because our purpose was not to cripple the government, once we got what we wanted, we let go and we waited for another day. So I think we have achieved a lot, but uh, you have to realize that uh, Jubilee has the majority members of parliament and we are dealing with the people out numbers. But you have to be strategic in order to uh, champion the But uh, just the uh, talking about it, I mean, we have seen the arguments from the majority, from Jubilee, mm -hmm. that it does not matter whether you're in the opposition or minority or majority. It is that every member of parliament is there to represent uh, the constituency and to work for this country. And it doesn't matter uh, your political affiliation. Is that really the truth? Actually, you know, seeing that numbers seem to be what determines the uh, business of the house. You know now this uh, idea of I belong to this party on that, it uh, will die out with the time because the whole house uh, has to over oversight as to check the government. That is the, the role of the whole House, members of parliament. Besides the legislation, they will offer oversight on the executive. Uh, but by and large, the opposition or the, let's say, the minority leader, uh, the minority party, will also try to champion that kind of oversight. Which is actually echoed by one of our viewers, Ngefe in Kiamba, who says, court has a big problem if they continue acting as opposition for they have nothing to oppose. The coalition government belong to both sides of the aisle. They are the minority and not the opposition. They should work on presenting good popular bills and seek support from the House to have something to tell the voters come the next elections. You see what has happened uh, in the elections of uh, the chairman for committees. It has uh, shown that Jubilee does not have uh, good intentions on the opposition and uh, it's common sense any leadership will not uh, will wish they have no opposition because the opposition will point out at their heels so now these are the kind of uh, things that we are experiencing but as i said earlier we are strategic we uh, meet in a caucus we plan the way forward and then we move i do not act alone i always do consultation and it could be that's why the some opponents may think Nyenze is not abrasive because I will not speak up my mind. I like consulting and then I uh, speak the party position. That's my opinion. Talking about party position, let's look at one incident, uh, uh, I, 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 well, in incidents of the passage of the cabinet secretaries, the list that, uh, uh, the report that came from the appointments committee. What was Code's position and did that position hold? eventually on the floor. Yes, we, we did defeat uh, the cabinet secretaries and uh, we rejected uh, one candidate, uh, Ms. Kandir. Kandir. Uh, but uh, when we brought it to the floor of the house, uh, the Jubilee side uh, unanimously ganged together and they passed her. So it taught us a lesson that you can agree as a committee you present, uh, but uh, some uh, selfish interests prevail. So we were taken aback. Right. Um, but of course this has to, has to do with the fact that um, the Jubilee has more numbers than CORD. Um, so how effective can you be in Parliament um, given the demonstration, really, that uh, you don't have enough numbers to push through your own agenda? Uh, that, uh, having said that, uh, it will be interesting to watch how things will unfold. But I'm sure these are honorable members. They have independent minds. And it's a question of time before those lines are blared and then uh, people take positions based on issues, not uh, on uh, instructions from party chiefs. There were issues yesterday about who is superior, whether it's the, the National Assembly or whether it's the, the Senate. And with members of public class, we found these debates are trivial. And waste of time. I also find it a waste of time, but uh, to make uh, that straight, we follow the constitution of the land. 
and uh, in the constitution of uh, Kenya, Article 95 and 96 define the roles of both the National Assembly and the role of the Senate. Article 95 defines the role of the National Assembly as a legislative oversight, trying to derogate the national budget, uh, uh, checking the executive. But now, if you look at Article 96, it, it only gives three roles for the, to the Senate. That is uh, the welfare of the counties. They will check whether they are allocated uh, enough funds. They also bring their request to Parliament National Assembly for us to make decisions. So as to who or which is superior, uh, Kenyans uh, made their point in their constitution and they said Parliament is superior. It makes laws. It is Parliament is good the Senate. Let's say, no, um, not Parliament, National Assembly. Yes. Yeah. Can, can the, 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 the quarrel has been when Senate trying to change the law about allocation of funds to the counties, there was 26 billion shillings less, and they wanted to increase. While the National Assembly had passed it, the uh, Senate wanted to make amendments. No, on the shortfall of uh, the 26 billion, we stood together because uh, the national government has to give those are default funds and they were provided for. That one we stood together. I think the differences arose when uh, the senators went to a workshop in Mombasa. Then they started talking about a uh, wrestling power of, on control of CDA from MPs. And then yeah. they started talking as they control more constituencies, so they are more superior. Then they started talking about the upper house, <laughs> the lower house, <laughs> the house of laws, <laughs> the house of commons. Ooh, and okay. we told them Westminster style, that is, even Britain is running away from that. All right. Yeah. Okay, so we have to pause. We have to take a break. This is Cheche, live on Citizen TV. The acting leader of the minority in parliament, Francis Nyenze, is our guest this morning. We're discussing um, the politics of opposition. Do keep your thoughts and questions for him coming in on SMS 2442 or tweet Cheche underscore TV. You can also go to the Citizen TV Power Breakfast page um, to reach us there. We'll be back after the break.